What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get any car for free in Grand Theft Auto Online. So essentially what this is, is it's the after patch 1.12 way to bring single player cars to multiplayer and then store them in your garage. So this glitch is absolutely insane, you guys do need to do this whilst you can before Rockstar yet again patch it. Anyway, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below once again. Can we try you for something well over 700 likes, that would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, the first thing you want to do is go into any online session. And then once you're in there, what you want to do is make your way over to the $400,000 apartment. And what we're going to be doing, we are going to be going to the back of the parking lot and we are going to be saving our last location here. So what you want to do is press start, then go to online and once again here is the location. But go across to online, then go down to options and make sure that your spawn location is set to last location. Now once you guys have done that, press start once again, go to online and hit leave GTA online. And what this will do is it will spawn you down into a single player session. And then once you guys are in the single player session, simply hit start, then go across to online once again and then go back into an online session and this whole process is basically to save your last location near the parking lot so as you can see my spawn location has successfully saved I did spawn relatively close to the parking lot and then you guys can continue on with the glitch so here is the tricky part what you want to do is make your way back into the parking lot then press start then go across to the game store press A once and you should see the message are you sure you want to access the Xbox game store now here is the tricky part, you guys need to get ready to pull out your ethernet cable or wireless adapter very quickly here. Once you press yes and you see the very first flash, pull out your ethernet cable as quick as possible. It has to be done perfectly here guys, once the first flash, the very first flash happens, pull out your ethernet cable and if done correctly you should be able to continue on with the glitch. As you can see it does say connection was lost, you should get a few error messages here saying you need to sign back in, just keep pressing A until it eventually does spawn you into single player. Now once again guys timing is key there, I did mess it up a few times myself and eventually I got it working, I had to redo the glitch around 3 times but you guys do need to pull out your ethernet cable as soon as you zoom out once as quick as you can. Nevertheless, once you guys do spawn into single player, you then need to load up one of your game saves. Now it is absolutely essential, you do need to load your game save here. You can't just get a car here, you do need to load a game save, which means that you must have saved the game at least once. So all you need to do is go into game, then load game, and just load up any of your game saves. It doesn't really matter which one you load up, each one will be fine. So once you guys have loaded up your game save, you can then go ahead and get any vehicle that you want to and bring that into online. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that any second now, but you guys need to go and get any vehicle that you want. You can go to Michael's Garage, you can go ahead and get the Jester, the Turismo, the Albany Roosevelt, you can fully upgrade them in single player and then you can bring them into multiplayer and then store them in your garage. Nevertheless, once you have loaded up your game save, you should get an error message that says downloadable content has been installed. If you get that, just simply press A to continue and then you can carry on with the glitch. Now, I am going to be using a fully upgraded Z-Type that I fully upgraded in single player and then I'm going to be bringing this into multiplayer right now and then I'm going to be storing it inside of my garage. So what you want to do guys is simply make your way over to the parking lot that you was in in multiplayer. I'm going to be showing you guys the location for that once again any second now. But like I said, go ahead and get any vehicle that you want at this point. It doesn't have to be the Z-Type, this is just for showcase. And um, like I said, Michael has the Jester, the Turismo and also the Albany Roosevelt in his garage so you guys can go ahead and get them. Nevertheless, there was the location for it in single player. Make your way back over to the parking lot and park your vehicle in any of the parking spots. It doesn't really matter which parking spot, I just parked it in this one for preference. Anyway, from there what you want to do is simply plug back in your ethernet cable or your wireless adapter. And then from there go ahead and press start, then go across to online. Then simply sign back into the account that it disconnected you from. So as you can see, it did disconnect me from my Declan GTA account. So go ahead and sign back into that account that you did disconnect from. And from there, once you are signed in, as you can see, I can now go to play GTA Online. Once you have done that, then press go. And then from there, you should get a message that says, are you sure you want to quit Grand Theft Auto V? Simply press A on that one, and then you should get another message saying one or more downloadable content packs are missing. Simply press A on that, and it should put you onto the download screen. Now from here, what you want to do is go ahead and download any of the packs that says installed. Not purchased, any pack that says installed. It doesn't really matter which one, and it will not affect your game in any way. So don't think it's going to affect your game, guys. And whilst you are downloading it, 
go ahead and have your friend invite you to a closed friend session. Now it isn't necessary, you can simply download the pack, then press B a couple of times and then it will spawn you down into an online session with players though and you will also have the vehicle next to you. Now if your friend does invite you to the game and then after you finish downloading the pack, you accept the invite, it is much better because then you don't have to deal with the stress of online players. So this is basically a way just to get away from the online players and spawn into your friend session. So make sure your friend invites you to a closed friend session. It has to be a closed friend session, guys. And go ahead and accept his invite on the download screen. It can't be before or after. You have to accept it on the download screen after you have downloaded the pack. Anyway, once you have downloaded one of the packs, simply press B to back out of this menu and then it will start to proceed to spawn you down into an online session. Now, if you accepted your friend's invite, once you are spawning back out of the screen like this, it should prompt you with a message like this. It will come up any second now. Are you sure you want to quit GTA Online? Now, press A. Now, once again, this is only if you accepted your friend's invite. If you're just doing it normally, you will spawn into a normal online session with players. And because I accepted my friend's invite on the download screen, I am now going to spawn down into my friend's session. So, as you can now see, I am now in my friend's close to friend session, I am away from all online players, and it has successfully transferred my car from single player to multiplayer. So this glitch is amazing guys, this is the after patch 1.12 on how to bring cars from single player to multiplayer. And now I am going to be showing you guys how to store these vehicles inside of your garage. So in order to do this, what you want to do is simply drive the vehicle that you just brought from single player to multiplayer, and drive it over to your garage. Now once you're here, simply park the vehicle relatively close to your garage door like so. It doesn't really matter where. And then have your friend watch over the vehicle. Now he shouldn't really need to watch over the vehicle, but just in case it despawns, make sure he does anyway. But if you do park it into a good enough position, it shouldn't really despawn. Nevertheless, once you've done that, simply walk into your garage like so. And you may notice this is actually very similar to the previous insurance glitch, but there is some slight differences. Anyway guys, once you have walked into your garage, what you then want to do is ring up either Ron, Martin or Lester or anybody that can give you a job and then request a job from them. As you do need to request a job, you can't do it the quick job way anymore as far as I know. So make sure you have a job available from them. It did take me a while to actually get this set up because they just wasn't actually coming through. Nevertheless guys, once the job eventually does come through, as you're going to see very shortly, go ahead and then get into any vehicle that you want to be replaced with outside. So as you can see here, I do have a rat loader and this rat loader is going to be replaced with the Z-Type outside. Anyway, once you've requested a job and it has gone through to your job list, simply get into your vehicle, then bring up your phone, then go to your job list, then click on any of the jobs once and only once, and then you should be brought onto this screen. Now here is the tricky part, you need to press A and RT at the exact same time. Now timing is crucial guys, no more, no less, A and RT at the exact same time. I'm not too sure what the buttons are on the PlayStation, but you should hear a driving noise and it kind of looks like you're about to drive out of your garage, but instead it actually spawns you into a mission lobby. Now, if done correctly, once you do quit from that mission lobby, you should be spawned down into a glitch position. Like I said, guys, timing is absolutely crucial. As long as you pressed A and RT at the exact same time, then you should be fine. And from this screen, simply quit and then press A and it should glitch you into a glitch position inside of your garage like this. Now, from there, simply run up to the vehicle that you had outside and then get into the vehicle. And what will happen is just wait inside of the vehicle until it glitches you back. And once it glitches your back guys, that's when you have a tracker on it, you can store it inside of your garage and you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. At this point you have successfully transferred your vehicle from single player to multiplayer and then stored it in your garage. In turn, actually getting a free vehicle and you can do this with any vehicle you want. Things like the Adder, the Jester, the Turismo, any vehicle you want really and it's just generally one of the best glitches after patch 1.12. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the commentary. Hopefully I did explain things well enough. This has been a really long video. I did try to explain things in a little more detail than usual. So hopefully you guys can actually understand this. If not, and if you're having any issues, then be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try shoot for something well over 700 likes, guys? That would be amazing. And if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. I will have a link in the description below. I also want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Epic Bad Boy for actually helping me with this. Anyway, with that said, I shall see you all in the next video.